update on where I've come so far since my last video. It kind of looks like I've done a lot. Um, I kind of have, but I kind of haven't. Uh, I quickly made all these components of the frame uh, not as accurate as, as I would normally like to, but all the important dimensions I made accurate, like the dropout distance from here to here. Um, I made sure that was accurate, because I'm using these just to make sure that they fit my frame and everything looks good. So I'll just show you how I made the rear tire real quick. What I did is I started with a sketch um, on a plane and I kinda just drew the profile of a wheel and as you can tell this isn't accurate at all to a real wheel but the dim main dimensions that I care about are this one that's 130 millimeters and that's really important and then as well as the distance to the rim edge where the calipers will um, connect that distance here that was pretty important um, and then the width which actually this width might be changing I might um, make that wider that's um, forget what it is it's like 28 or something millimeters and I might extend that to 30 millimeters or even more than that I'm not sure yet but just kinda did the overall shape as you can see the tire I just made part of it because I don't really care if it's separate and it looks great and the spokes they're not accurate but just kinda drew that and that's what these are this is the spoke here and here and then for the cassette I measured the size of this cassette here on the the tire that I'm or the wheel that I'm modeling I have a sample that I measured everything and and got and drew them on and then I measured the top here and so then I just had a line and I cut little slots I didn't even need to do that but I just thought I would make it a little bit better than just complete blocky um, and that's really essentially it um, after that sketch I made a revolve by going into create and hit revolve so I'll go into that um, just the profile I selected was I had to go through and select all those areas of the sketch that I wanted which are these excluding this and then I just did a little fillet I, I should have done that fillet uh, in my sketch but oh well it was easier that way for me anyway and then I made a sketch on the side I just like drew out spokes and uh, I used a, the mirror pattern. I actually just drew one and I went up here and did not mirror, I did circular pattern and that made it all around that. And then I extruded those areas and just had it cut through. And I had it cut up to, so my sketch was on this side, and I had it cut all the way up to the back end of this gear cog. And that was it. It's pretty straightforward. And obviously, it's not that great of a wheel, but it does what it needs to for my purposes. And that's how I made the rear wheel of this bike.